Ontario is a hotbed of high-tech innovation, and the University of Waterloo is where the tech leaders of tomorrow come to plan not only their future, but ours as well. A future that involves driverless cars, delivery drones, and a world where every man, woman, and child can parallel park. And look who it is, Associate Professor Steve Waslander. Hello, Steve, how are you? Nice to meet you. Thank you for having me here. I am very excited because today we're gonna to explore the future. Is that not correct? Sure, yeah. So my lab's the Waterloo Autonomous Vehicles Lab, and we've been doing research yeah. in self-driving cars for the last couple of years. There's also, there's a drone program, correct? Absolutely, yeah. So a lot of the same technology that drives the car can also help in drones. So I'm gonna meet some students, and they're basically gonna show me their drones, and uh, and we're gonna like uh, go out on a track. Do you have a track? Absolutely. So we have a test track for the self-driving car, and then we have uh, lots of spaces that we fly the drones. We fly them out in the parking lots, we fly them in parks, we fly them indoors even. You fly uh, drones indoors? For sure. We yeah. never fly our drone indoors. It's dangerous. That's quite quiet, actually. You're going to want to back up yeah. a little bit. Uh, yeah. More, 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 more. Can I hold that just a little bit? No. Just come on. Come on. I'm a trained show business professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't help but think that you could like grab onto it and it could take you to freedom. Or maybe across the Manitoba border. So how far can it go distance-wise? Two and a half. Two and a half to five kilometers. It depends on your How far to downtown Waterloo? It's about that far. Okay, so we could send it for lunch. Who's hungry? Yeah. Okay, finger licking drone coming through. Students are very hungry. And this is Nav Ganti, and this is Mike Smart. Hello, Nav. How are you? Welcome. Mike, nice to see you. And this, my friends, is the autonomous driverless car. Is that correct, Nav? That's correct. What is this car? It's, it's a first of a kind. It's the first what? It is the first uh, driverless car approved for the Ontario Autonomous Vehicle Pilot Program. It's the future, isn't it? That's what it is. So this is a sensor? This is a camera. This is a camera. What's that thing? So on top of the car, we have a LiDAR. 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 It's a laser scanner. There's 32 okay. beams that get shot out and they're called. 32 beams. 32 kind of arranged like that. It can create a 3D kind of visualization of what its surroundings are, what the car's surroundings are. Are you serious? <laughs> are you kidding me? So the way our system is set up. Of course. Of course. You can control it with that. You were those kids. You were spending your life staring at this thing. And your parents were probably saying, what are you doing with your life? And look at you now. You're going to run the world. And this is Carlos Wang. Hello, Carlos. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you, Mick. Carlos has joined uh, uh, Nab and I. We're outside on the closed course, correct? Yes. Ali was here. This is Ali. He was sitting in the car, and he was like, and I thought, Ali is programming. Don't disturb him. And then I looked. And he's on his Facebook. <laughs> he's just staying warm. Does the future have heated seats? It does. And lumbar support? Oh, that's nice. You can't see what's going on, but down below, it's lovely. <laughs> it takes three people to not drive this car, right? It's three people. Right. Nav, he's not driving, right? He's in the passenger seat. My responsibility is this button right here. It is a big red button that says emergency stop. Love it. And uh, Carlos, he's in the back, and he can take control of the car. And I'm sitting here, and I'm not driving. And there's heated seats, and there's a heated steering wheel, but... You're not going to be touching the steering wheel. Not touching the steering wheel. No, I can just lie back like this. Oh. This is what you'll see. <laughs> That's what you'll see. This will be me going to work in the morning. Hey, go. What the heck? No way. So we're just going for a drive. Oh, that is so weird. There's a golf cart over here with Don. I trust science, Don. I trust science not to kill you. <laughs> this is great for parades. I think there's going to be a lot of redesigns on how interiors are done. Like Tesla's car, for example, doesn't even have an engine in the front, right? It's just space. Right. Well, other cars okay. have been like that, but there's space oh, up right. front. There's space in the front, space in the back, right? And the new Tesla will give you a colonoscopy <laughs> while you're driving to work in the morning. Right now, you can only get the colonoscopy in the driver's seat. But that's why people go, I want the front seat. 
Vince. We're driving so slow, I could actually get out of the car. While we're driving. Good night. Right. I could actually, and run along, I could, I could actually get out and run alongside the car. <laughs> this could be a cop show, and the car is my sidekick. Oh wait, I made that show. <laughs> Oh, don't touch the steering wheel when you get in. Welcome. Nice to see you. Good to see you. See, we're carpooling, and I was the last guy in. <laughs> that was so much fun, Nav. Thank you so much, Carlos. Thank you. From the University of Waterloo, let science take the wheel.